This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel for the build by video on The Sims 4 Wedding Stories. So here we are in Tartasoa. Tartasoa. I don't know how to say the name yet, but best believe I will, you know, I'll... <laughs> I'll educate myself before I post some gameplay. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the items that come included with this pack. I actually think you're going to like them. I really do too. It, I see what you're, you're probably already thinking, Jen. This actually doesn't look like a lot. But I do have to remind myself like constantly this is not an expansion. However, at least the things that we did receive, in my personal opinion, I feel like we're really going to get a lot of use out of, especially for weddings and stuff. But I'm sure you guys want to see uh, the brand new world. So let's go and just take a little gander around. Here we are um, on one of the I think this is like one of the starter house lots honestly and I love that we're greeted with a rainbow like how perfect is that I love it especially with all of like the pride theme things in this pack like it's kind of it's kind of perfect and also would you just check out that beach the whitest sands I have ever seen I do the wish like side note uh that you were able to like swim in the coast or on the coast here because it's just it's such a beautiful place like especially right here I wish this was usable do you see what I'm saying like I'm sorry they kind of slept a little bit on that because it'd be so fun to take the kids down here build little sand castles wade in the tide but that's not what this video is about <laughs> we're supposed to be going over the build items so let me just hop in to build by and uh you know show them to you real quick so here we are with the first item of the pack it's called a pedal to the metal and basically this is the flower shack where you can buy like bouquets i think you can also buy like individual flowers i'm not really sure how this works but maybe we can take a little peek here in just a second we also received five brand new beautiful arches the first one kind of reminds me of something you would find on like a deserted island or something it looks like it's been made out of beech wood and beech wood <laughs> i mean kind of i meant to say driftwood but we're well with it driftwood in palms i really like this second option too it's very romantic probably more of my personal style this circular one which is called likely from a storybook really is interesting it looks kind of short almost like sims won't fit under it and this bad beast here that's called it's all set in stone is such a great way to like give a pun to like a wedding arch because it's set in stone like you can't undo it now but also you know that one spot where you can kind of swim it looks like um kind of like a natural like pond or something maybe a lake in Windenburg I feel like this would be the perfect place to put this wedding arch and then last but not least for some reason this reminds me of the Sims 3 into the future it's literally called a glimpse of the future or a glimpse into the future which I also think is a really perfect name for an arch but in all, I love the wide array of different choices that we have here. Even the color story is super, super versatile. You'll be able to use these arches in a lot of different builds. And also, you can all, you still use your base game ones too. They recently got like a huge update in swatches. So if there's nothing here that you like, which I'm hoping there is because that would be the whole reason for you to buy the pack. Um you still obviously have your base game options and they've been recently updated over to my left we have the swooning grand piano i am in love with this i think it's so beautiful to look at it's like a work of art i also really love the fact that they have this kind of open and exposed so that you can like see the keys inside and also you can see like the individual strings now even though i love this grand piano and i hope this doesn't kind of come off snobby i really do wish we could just have like a flat out upright piano at this point probably not for this pack because it just doesn't really make sense to implement that doesn't really have a place but i really want one like i really really do here we have like a couple different like display tables i guess they're called like banquets maybe i don't know what they're called and basically you would put uh either this little uh gravy fountain on top or you could place the toasting celebration bucket which actually loves your sims to toast rum which is so exciting i love that and then there's a couple different swatches in here that kind of just fit the theme i thought those were really cool so there's like different types of you know weddings that essentially you can host like different themes that you could go for and then we also got a brand new bar which i thought was kind of cool too it's very simple 
Uh, there looks like there's some sort of like text on some of these. So maybe like the name of the venue or the company that's hosting. Uh, and then here are a bunch of flowers. So I'm just going to kind of go through each one. This looks like a bouquet or some sort of, I don't know, wild jungle bush on top of this beautiful stand here. It is gorgeous. I love how grand and massive this is and also how tall too. <sighs> this is seriously so gorgeous. Like, I love the amount of floral and flowers that they've put into this pack. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like they did it really nice. And then here we have, like, an information board. I actually don't know the proper name for this, but you guys can let me know in the comments down below. And I love how they've also thrown in some uh, Chinese and Indian versions, too, just to kind of fit with the additional types of weddings that you could throw in this box, so like the themes and stuff. Um, so those are really nice. I like those. Then we have like a couple different bouquets of flowers. So here we have like the tabletop bouquet. We also have the scepter of flowers and then the bouquet pedestal. I thought those were kind of cool too. Of course, you can kind of switch up the colors and, you know, I, I bring out the piece a little bit more, honestly, because when they're white like that, it's just you can't see it because everything's so bright right now. So I apologize. Uh, there's also this bad boy over here. This is a centerpiece, too. It's called the Blooming Centerpiece. And as you guys can kind of see, uh, there are some candles, too. So I envision like at night. <gasps> This illuminates. Oh my gosh. I didn't really realize until now that this, uh, like the vase was, was actually clear, like see-through. That's not all that's see-through, by the way. I can't wait to show you the other, this other thing. So we also have like a little, a little, uh, candlelight composition, these cute little, like, um, it kind of looks like a little candle gazebo. Honestly, I love these little lanterns. They're so beautiful. <gasps> Oh my gosh. And then my personal favorite, like I'm so excited for these. Uh, we have two brand new tea sets, you guys. So we have a Chinese version and then also we have something uh, that kind of reminds me of <laughs> cottage living. Honestly, it's so cute. Like an English tea set. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, kind of out of the loop of things here, but these little hearts are super adorable. These are called this. I love that. Stakes to the heart. I mean, <laughs> that was good. I love all their names, like all the all the description names for these items, too. I think they're really like right on par. So basically what you can do with this is you can use these to like align your um, what you might call it, align your uh, aisles, right? The it's, it's called an aisle right? Okay. I had to think about that for a second. But anyway, you can use those to align your aisles or you can even put them on your front lawn. Honestly, I don't think it matters. Over here, we have a couple like lamps, I guess. This one is called to the moon and back. Again, another like lovey-dovey phrase. It kind of looks like the target circle in, in red. <laughs> you know, when they used to have the circles in front of target, that's what that looks like to me. And then this guy is called the lone candle in the hall. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, there she is. Lodge and that's super cute. This is supposed to go on a wall, but you know, <laughs> we have it on the floor. Then we have a nice little array of seating and tables. I was going to say seeing and sitting and seating, you know, but whatever. You know, if you're a person observer, these are going to be great for you. Like if you're somebody who just likes to sit and watch everybody have fun, but you're too like nervous because you're going to have anxiety sweat to go partake. This is for you. I love this. Uh, we have a little bench. Like a wooden bench here. I thought that was kind of cool. It kind of gives me like church vibes. <gasps> I think that's exactly what it was for. Like the light literally just went off in my head. <laughs> this is a church bench. And then we also have this beautiful bench here, which is perfect for like outdoor seating and stuff. And even honestly, like go for it. Put this inside your house. I love that a lot. I was a little taken aback by the Riviera lounge chair, even though I love this. Uh, word to the wise. <laughs> this is portable. Just so you know. I mean, those little thingies right there, they're not there for nothing. What are they called? Like fasteners? I don't know what the hell they're called. But yeah, portable lounge chair. And um, then we have a couple variations of the same chair. So here we have the, I can't see, uh, the adorned folding chair. I'm curious if these are also portable. The cool thing is that they come in two versions, so you can kind of alternate them and create a little variety. We have the floral version and then just the plain back. Same thing goes for the weaved love chair here. Has the same kind of variance as the previous chair. I thought these are kind of nice. Let's just go through the swatches just to see. It's interesting because some of the uh, some of the color palettes are like more 
kind of light and pastel-y and minty. And then some are a little more like, I mean, I guess they all are really cohesive, actually, if you think about it. But I don't know. I feel like there's like two different, two different color stories happening here. And then we have um, a very traditional... Oh my god, is this seriously called the mullet chair? <laughs> uh, business in the front, party in the back. I'm dead. It really is. Speaking of mullets, I had one when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Me and my entire family. I think I've told you guys that like 500 times. But that's the mullet chair. And then this is literally like every influencer's dream. Hello, ghost chair. I was literally going to call it before the game did. It is see-through like seriously it can see right through you i love this we have to check out the swatches i wish they would come out like a come out with like a like a year 2000s pack or something you know we had like the inflatable the inflatable bubble chairs and phones and like the the, the imax and oh that was such a good time i love that chair okay so obviously you're gonna need a place to not do that um you're gonna need a place to see all of your guests when you're eating all the delicious food and wedding cake so we have a banquet table and then we also have uh the fun table i guess i don't know this one just basically has like a nice little tablecloth over it. and then you can filter through all the different swatches to kind of get the look that you're going for like i said everything kind of matches perfectly so you can create quite a grand wedding dance floors there's gonna be this big question um are is slow dancing proprietary to the dance floor can you take it off of the dance floor originally i think it was said that you couldn't but recently it has been revealed on twitter that slow dancing is not limited to the dance floor so i'm pretty sure that's going to be good news for a lot of individuals now we have ourselves the actual wedding aisles that sims will walk down in three different sizes uh and then if you notice where the hearts are right this is actually where your sim is going to start walking it's kind of weird because this is where i thought they would like finish you know at the end of the hearts but they actually start at the beginning of the hearts so just keep that in mind for when you're having your sims walk down the aisle and when you're placing them the follow the heart road basically comes in again three different sizes i believe uh to fit like the individual aisle so just depending on what kind of length you're you're going for it's really hard to see <laughs> um you can place the appropriate size also um if you filter through you'll get a couple different variations and i think there is Maybe one, oh, it might actually be this runner. Oh, okay, so the smaller one is the solids, and then the longer one you can kind of put on top, actually. That one just strictly contains puddles, which is kind of weird, actually. I don't know why it does that. Is it like two different ones or something? I don't know. That's a little that's a little weird to me, but yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to show, share those with you guys so you can see what you can do to your aisles to kind of juice them up a little bit and then we have ourselves uh, a wedding tent so these are kind of small um one has fairy lights and flowers the other one kind of looks like a children's toy if i'm being honest but i like these i'm just so obsessed with like the sheer mesh i just oh my god i can't wait to play with these i really can't like this pack is this pack's pretty. I like it. I really do. I think they've I think they've done a nice job with it. I just wish it was like more. I wish there was more. I wish this was like an expansion. So we had honeymoons and all sorts of stuff. Like just, you know, more content. But I don't know. Here we also have like a little Chinese dragon lamp too. This is literally called the light of the dragon. It's made with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wood. And whatever, you know, flavor you choose because there's a couple different options there. This this little guy, I don't know what this is, what, what the name is. The Banners for Love. Uh, it comes with a little post so that you can cap it off, which I don't know why they, well, actually, no, I still don't know why they don't just, you know, like, I don't know why this is a separate piece, but this is so cute. I just love the way that this looks. And then you can go through and pick a whole bunch of different, like, swatches. I wish there was more, though. Um, maybe some more banners and, like, different colors to kind of match the color story of the pack. I also love these little they almost look like i don't like coffee filters <laughs> to me like when you used to cut out coffee filters as a kid like diy yeah okay that's what that looks like they look they look diy <laughs> that's fine weddings are crazy expensive i think if i'm not mistaking like the average wedding in the u.s is like 20 to thirty thousand dollars. so if you need to cut costs and diy some things yourself i say go for it now the what is this called the garden of romance fountain 
it is very romantic and another really nice thing about it too is that not only is it pretty to look at you can actually sit here on the little benches and enjoy it with your significant other so i thought that was kind of sweet obviously we have a few of these uh, pergolas this pergola and that pergola so we got like a fairy tale and an enchanting pergola i don't know how the heck this thing is standing up but it is it is beautiful a lot of this stuff is very like i don't know how to like explain it like surreal it's like very it is romantic it literally is the word but it's like enchanting too i just i this pack just makes me feel like a little princess you know or it just it just feels really whimsical to me and i just i'm obsessed so the cool thing about this pergola is that if you wanted to which I'm sure, you know, you guys are smart and probably have already thought about it before I even said anything. Uh, you can actually take two of these and rotate it so that they're facing each other. And it kind of makes like a little kind of like a little covered awning area for your wedding if you so shall choose. And then we also have the hoops. There it is. <laughs> I don't know what the heck this is. Maybe like a place where you could have extra drinks, cocktails, gifts. I don't know. It's just like a little decor item. Even though this is probably the most underrated piece in the pack, it is the Barrel of Promise. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why. I just like it. I think it's so cute. You can even scale this down just to make it a little more usable. Like maybe put a bunch of them. I don't know. I really like this. And then we also have ourselves the tears, not tears. I like that. You could actually put your tea set on here, but you could even throw in some of these other like random objects. Probably not that, but you could do something. Could this go on the higher one? I don't think this goes higher. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could put this up here. You could definitely use it with move objects, but basically you can kind of create your own little, like your own little display. I thought that was really sweet. Um, what else? What else? Okay. So the last thing that I have to share with you are basically, um, the, these little curtains and then also this garland here. So you would put this on your wall. You could scale it up or scale it down. I don't remember though, if there's like multiple sizes of the garland. However, there are two sizes for the curtains I want to say this is like a single and double wall height so those are your options and basically this is what the color story of that looks like do you see what I'm saying like there's there's two different there's two different color palettes in this pack there's like pastels and like really light um creams and this mint green color and then we also have like the vibrant colors as well but it isn't like completely consistent through the pack so i'm really curious to see how that's going to interfere like trying to you know mix and match in the future so anyways we're done with that as promised i kind of wanted to check out the little you know the little uh what is it called? Flower kiosk. And then while we're waiting for our vendor, I do want to check these items out with you, even though you're going to see them hopefully in the gameplay video. God only knows when that's coming. <laughs> I still want to show you guys in person what these look like. So we're going to have our beautiful Sim, Sage Benton. She's going to go sit on the fountain so you can kind of see what that looks like. You can basically do everything that you would normally do on a fountain. You can cuddle, snuggle, kiss, make out, do whatever you want to do. Um, and then I'm going to have her come over here and steep some tea. We're just going to make some hmm, uh, black tea. Ooh, orange blossom tea. I could see her totally enjoying that. So we'll have her go and steep some tea. So basically, she just stands by it. She doesn't do anything. And when she pours it, what? Ew, is it because of where it is? Because it's not on a counter? It has to be. It has to be that. Like, it absolutely has to be that because she's not really, like, grabbing it at its appropriate height, in my personal opinion. However, I will say that this is even with that, it's still a really beautiful set and I'm happy to have it. So it's completely okay. And you even get a moodlet too. That citrus tea was a tad bit tart, but now Sage is feeling pretty dang smart. I love that. Oh, I didn't show you guys these. Sorry. Here we have the backdropper. And when you filter through like the different swatches, you're going to get different imagery, which is kind of nice too. And then there's also like a couple just, you know, ombre versions just to keep it simple. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, uh, but it says those signs of love i really like this I, I again this would be like perfect as like a focal point on a wall maybe behind the arches 
uh, there's a lot of things here that you could use as props too to take some really cool photos and then hopefully the last item that is on our lot is this room divider it says the divider of anticipation <laughs> that is really cute i like that and then the thing is is like not all of these you can like see through or whatever there's actually some solid options again with the florals and just even some really simple swatches that you could use in an everyday build type of instance so i really like that i think that's super cute i love that some of these objects again are useful for every day like they're not strictly limited to the pack like there's several in here that i could see myself using so sage she enjoyed her tea um for this fountain basically you can fill it with all of the basic stuff that you could fill it with the previous fountain from the luxury pack i think the luxury stuff pack uh we could give ourselves a little toast over here i wonder if she's gonna yeah, she's just yeah cheers, cheers. <laughs> i mean day drinking yeah, by yourself yeah, hell yeah sage go for it girl like okay that's a really long toast here we are at the little flower kiosk you can sell flowers <gasps> you can haggle obviously and then you can also buy flowers too and purchase wedding bouquets that's that's interesting i wonder how that's gonna like tie into gameplay so any flower that you have available in your game obviously depending on what packs you have will be able to be purchased through this kiosk and then you can also buy yourself a little wedding bouquet uh if you do have seasons right you can actually make these bouquets i don't know if you guys knew that but if you did you can so that's kind of nice you can also um make your own wedding cakes too by the way so i like that we have a whole bunch of different bouquets here we have a black rose we also have blue um there's blush colorful daisy bouquet there's even pink and orange rainbow just like a traditional red rose bouquet like so you could use these i feel like for other you know occasions but i think those are really really cool super sweet but anyways that's pretty much everything for build by i hope you guys enjoyed and again i do apologize greatly that these videos have like taken forever to get out like i said it's my birthday so it's kind of frustrating um but you know what let's just do one last thing here um, we're going to have Sage walk down the aisle. So basically, that's what you're able to do. You're able to walk up, walk down. You can send one sim, two sims. You can send up certain sims. So that's interesting. I thought the heart is where your sim started, but <sighs> is this like not working? Hold on. Wait, I just had her sit. I just had her walk up the aisle and she's walking uh oh she's walking the wrong fucking way okay i think there's something going on with there because i know I, I know i know i had it i know i had it but we're not gonna sit here and argue with the game it's not gonna happen i do want her to slow dance with somebody though um so we're gonna have her slow dance with mateo like what a weird way to like meet somebody for the first time but i'm not lying like he's super cute like he's really cute i mean that gourmet <gasps> uh 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 hell no Oh my, are you kidding? I knew people were having issues with this pack, but you've got to be shitting me. Hold on. Okay, let's just try that again. Maybe we got him at a bad time. Okay, so this, my friends, is the slow dance interaction. I actually think it's really cute. I love how jovial they are. They seem really happy for, you know, just meeting each other and, you know, Mateo being married and all. So that's cool. All right. Is there anything else that I need to show you? Nah, I think we pretty much got it covered at this point. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. And with that said, don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. I know you I see you climbing, been trying to find your way. Let's see you smiling. Since we were stuck in LA, we're gonna jump the rooftop and come watch the skyline.